And I'm not saying this is a bad thing. It's good to have aspiration. It's good to have that. But the question falls back to, is it, and I'm going to pose this question to y'all, is being a boss for everybody. That is why this, this, this ideology cannot be mass produced. Well, it's been mass produced and we've had plenty of problems with it. Is being the head person for everybody. Think about it. Wet Willie. You got three, four, five cousins, a sister, brother here and there, a friend, a friend's wife. You know them personally. Would you trust all them with their own business? And it's okay, because I've been making a, a habit of coming on here and pissing y'all off. Oh, well, it is what it is. You don't want to hear the truth. And here goes the truth. Out of 100,000 of y'all, two out of 10 of y'all should own your own business. Two out of 10 of y'all should own your own business. The rest of y'all should have a job, which means the mass production of getting people to own their own business that leasing has pushed forth and these gurus have pushed forth, it's wrong. But it makes the lease companies money and it makes these gurus money. Marcus says two out of 100. I am supposed to trust the average driver with owning their own business, affecting the economy, keeping the truck on regulated, making sure the truck's up to code, getting the loads correctly, getting it there safely, paying their taxes, paying their employees. I'm going to trust the average driver with that when the average driver does not want to wash his ass or brush their teeth or stay in the lane or park the truck without hitting something. Come on, man. What are we talking about? How could this be the new business class that's supposed to come through when we don't want them parking at the Walmart because they leave shit bags because they got prostitution? These are the people we think should be business owners. You people are truckers, and when you go home, you don't have trucker friends. You don't even want to hang out with truckers. You don't want to hang out with yourself. Why are we turning around saying that these are the people that should be business owners? Unless you know the truth and you just want their money. You go to work, that guy you know that work at your job with the bad teeth, saying crazy stuff about the company. Y'all think he's a business owner? Y'all, he should be a business owner? You hang out with drivers. Them drivers you hear at Walmart talking. Oh, yeah, I went down here went 57,000 miles an hour and so-and-so. This company is not what it used to be. You think that guy's supposed to be a business owner? Out of all the drivers you have ran into, all the drivers you've ran into, the craziness y'all have seen on the road, you don't trust them driving the truck. And y'all think that we can mass produce these guys being business owners. And the question is why, before this existed, nobody was talking like that. If you're, you hear me? People go to their job, they got their job, and they work their job. That was it. Yeah, but they didn't own. Yeah, but on the same time, they owned more shit than we own now. I'm here to bet even, you know, come on now. There's women in the chat. They won't even date a truck driver. You won't even date one. You won't even give them some, some butt. Every single one of you, risky 33 included, say, I ain't not date no truck driver. They nasty and stupid and dumb. But these are the people we're selling Businesses do. Get out of here, man. Stop it. I've been to places, leased on the truck, in the orientation, and they say, give me your banking information. And these fools give them a private bank account. And they say, no, no, no. You, you got to give me a bank account with your business number on it. Where is that? And they don't know where it is. It creates a class of people who are doing business and sitting across the table 
from another class of people that have no idea what's going on. It creates a predatory area, a predatory gray area where the people who know what the business is doing can run ramshot of the people that don't. I was in orientation and said, you know, the one that's connected to your EIN and a person turned to me, supposed to have been a driver, and said, what's an EIN? Wow. It should be criminal for you to get in the business arrangement with somebody that don't know what's going on like that. So when you come to me and say, TB, should I leave my $100,000 a year job where I'm feeding myself? keeping my house in order, buying the car I want, going where I want. I'm smiling over the Instagram. I'm going to leave that to go to a place and work with sharks because that's the thing you're not understanding. Once you go owner-operator, you are doing business with sharks. They lie. They steal. They throw you under the bus. That is the trucking industry if you leave the W-2 people. And you go on up there and think you're going to do it on your own. You're going to run into a whole bunch of people lying and stealing. That's 80% of the business of people just stealing money. Trucker Brown here. I'm just here to remind you that we are on Patreon. It does help out the channel. Thanks to all the people who sub to the Patreon this weekend. I appreciate you. New content is coming there. And these clips that I'm giving you are from the exclusive Trucker Report Live that I do with Phil, which is linked is at the bottom on rumble tb uncut so i appreciate y'all love the support if you like the content man hit the buttons let me know thanks for coming to the patreon